all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Hello and welcome to Next Gen 15 as we continue our series looking at the top under 23 players in the world. Today it's the hookers that we're going to be having a look at. Lots of exciting young talent there, but before we get stuck into that, do please make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted about any new videos that we release. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy the video. At number 10, we take a look at Scotland hooker Ewan Ashman, who's at Sail Sharks currently, just 20 years old. In a very poor, to be frank, Scotland on a 20 side, Ashman absolutely stood out. His team ended up getting relegated down a, down a division uh, in the 2019 under 20 championships but Ashman really impressed us he looked very solid and he's been training with the Scotland senior setup sort of quietly in recent times and when you look at the the Scotland hooker situation Fraser Brown quite injury prone at the moment Stuart McAnally as well sometimes can be a bit susceptible there's a there's an opening over the next few years for a young hooker to come through and Ewan Ashman could well be that man. There's no doubt that Edinburgh and Glasgow are going to be sniffing around for him. And he'll surely get capped sooner rather than later. So an exciting young prospect to look at. At number nine, we have Johan Grolar from South Africa playing at the Bulls. Another uncapped hooker, relatively small for a hooker, just 98 kilograms for 22 years of age. And a very different type of hooker in South African terms. Smaller, more elusive. Not quite in the Skull Brits mode, but certainly more that way than, say, a Malcolm Marks. An exciting young player, though, really good set piece, work very neat and tidy. We're really looking forward to seeing how he progresses over the years. At number eight, one of two French hookers in this lineup is Teddy Bobigny, the Racing 92 player. He's uncapped at the moment, just 22 years old, but sitting behind Camille Chat, the French incumbent, at Racing 92 and learning a huge amount from him. He's really impressed when he's given his chance at Racing, coming off the bench a lot as well. Really powerful sort of squat unit. Very, very exciting young player. His his battle with uh, Piata Muvaka, who's higher up on this list, is going to be really exciting over the next few years. Just a year between them. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be cool. It's going to be very, very intense. We'll like to see them working in tandem as a pair in the two and the 16 shirt for a long time to come. At number seven, we have a USA cap, Capelli Pifoletti from Saracens. A couple of caps for America. Uh, he got them in the build-up to the World Cup when he was part of the wider training squad. Uh, and he's sure to get a few more in, in the years to come. Saracens really rate him. They've, they've moved him right up into the first team squad now. So he's going to be challenging alongside Jamie George and be particularly interesting next year in the championship. You'll probably get a lot of game time there. Um, He's a big, big player, really, really powerful unit. So, so watching him progress is going to be, it's going to be really cool. Really excited to see him. At number six, we have Ratu Veramula Vugakoto from Fiji. Really exciting young player, already with a handful of caps to his name. A raw talent, but an exciting young player in that that sort of Fijian mould of front rowers who are incredibly comfortable with the ball in hand. Uh, it makes him an incredibly exciting prospect for everyone. The world over to see him progress just 22 years old we were really hoping to be able to get to see a bit more of him this autumn in the autumn nations cup but unfortunately the covid situation is rather put paid to to that but hopefully over the course of the next few years we'll get to see more and more of this exciting young player at number five we have jordan ulazy from australia playing at the melbourne rebels and already with a handful of caps to his name 23 years old and playing in a position in australia that in my opinion, is is quite an open play playing position there. No one feels as though they've really cemented that shirt down. So I think that he's got plenty of opportunity to to give that a really good crack. There are bags of young props, but the hooking position is a is a little thinner. So I think he's got a huge opportunity. He's an immensely strong player. Um, everything you see of him and read about him, his power is is one of the first things that people people comment on. But what's also really relevant about him is he's absolutely pinpoint accurate from the line out, uh, which is an area that, that a lot of teams have struggled in Australia, particularly over the, the last couple of years. So it'd be 
really exciting to see him progress. He, he's certainly got a huge, huge opportunity. In fourth, we have a second French hooker on the list. We've mentioned him before, Piatto Malvaca. Already got plenty of caps his name. Plays down in Toulouse, the sort of heartland of French rugby. He's a big, bruising hooker, uh, and he's absolutely learning for the best in that mould in the form of Camille Chat, the French incumbent. Uh, he's massive, 124 kilos. Uh, that's that's enormous for a guy who's just 23 years old uh, and only 184 centimetres tall. Hugely, hugely exciting prospect. Um, keep an eye out for him as France go through. They have their eyes set on the 2023 World Cup and the squad is building and there are some seriously young, talented kids that are absolutely hammering away for starting places and he is no exception. Into the top three and in third place, we have a player who's making a move on the Ireland shirt, I'd say, Ronan Kelleher. In the void that's been left by Rory Best retiring and Sean Cronin no longer really being in the picture, he's making a step into that void. Uh, he's already got over five caps. He's starting to really impress a lot of people in the Irish game. He's, if you listen to, to some of the Irish commentary, things like the Off the Ball podcast, his name's cropping up more and more and more and more. Plays at Leinster, and we all know what that academy is capable of. Just 22 years old, he could be in that shirt for a long time yet. He's a he's a proper player, um, and, and one that we're really looking forward to seeing how he how he goes as he makes that step from guy who's knocking on the door to becoming guy who's the incumbent. Can he make that leap? I think he can. It's going to be exciting to check him out. For the top two, this felt like a real toss up. Two absolutely epically talented players. Uh, but in second place, we've gone with Asafa Almua from New Zealand and the Hurricanes. He tore up as an under 20, uh, just unplayable. Uh, you may remember a try he scored in the World Under 20 final against England a few years back. It was just sensational stuff. Um, that's the type of thing he's capable of. He's incredibly fast, incredibly athletic, a sort of Dane Coles with extra power is how I might describe him. Um, he's already been capped, got capped this autumn. He's quite a small player. Um, he, you know, he he'll get he'll get bigger as time goes on. But at 23 years old, he hit between him, Dane Coles, and Cody Taylor. The All Blacks have got some serious options, but in the long term, he might well be the very best of them all. An incredibly exciting player. Could have gone either way, whether he was first or second on this list. We plumb for him in second. No doubt some of you will have him in first. What we can all agree on is he's one of the most exciting prospects in world rugby. And that leads us on to number one. And I'm sure having heard the rest of the names on the list, it will come as no surprise to you to hear that our number one is Alfie Barbary, the England and Wasps hooker, flanker, centre, pick him wherever you want. He's that good. Yet to be capped made his breakthrough for Wasps over the summer in the delayed end to the 2019-20 season. Uh, he's already now in the start of this 2020-2021 season, made huge strides as well, despite the fact that it's only a few weeks after the end of last season. He's an, he's an absolute beast. He scored a hat-trick over the summer in a premiership game. How many hookers have done that, let alone how many 20-year-old hookers have done that? He's powerful. He's versatile. He's a generational talent and he could be this hybrid player that Eddie Jones has been sort of teasing us with over the last few weeks. Yeah, he he really was have was been playing him in the back row uh, as he develops his set piece work. It's possible that's where he may end up, but he certainly played his rugby growing up at Hooker and I, I think that's where his long term future lies once his once his set piece is sort of tidied up to to top level standard but in terms of his just his rugby game it's as good as anything out there uh, I'd be surprised if there are many better 20 year olds in world rugby certainly hard to think of many off the top of your head um, I just can't wait to see what this guy can do he, he's been tearing up trees for years uh, as, a, as a teenager he was doing some unbelievable stuff at blocks from school. We were getting emails with just updates of the ridiculous numbers of tries that this guy was scoring. 
uh, school level um and he's just he's just continued that into the professional game and it's it's a matter of time before he gets an england cap it really is uh probably a hooker but who knows he could he could play anywhere that they want him to an absolutely fantastic talent and that's our top 10 under 23 hookers in the world uh also concludes our top 10 series uh hope you enjoyed it please leave your comments below let us know who you think should have been in who you think should be higher up the list who you think should have been down the list i'm sure there's plenty to be debated so just let us know in the comments uh and also do take the time to go back through the archives that will check out the props locks back rows scrum halves fly halves centers back threes done the whole lot loads of exciting young players would love to hear your thoughts about all of them uh, in the meantime do please subscribe and hit that notification bell it just means you'll be alerted anytime we have a new video and there's going to be some really exciting new stuff as fingers crossed we edge towards a restart of some proper rugby in the coming months do also head across to our website www.nextgen15.com that's www.nextgenxv.com where there's loads and loads of content and there'll be more coming as that rugby starts to play thanks very much for watching cheers guys goodbye Thank <laughs> you.